Risk comes in many ways. You jog to remain healthy but may fall or twist your leg. Would you stop jogging? Chances are you've taken the COVID shield vaccine and are now reading panicked posts about the risk of blood clots. Would you stop taking vaccines? Here's everything you should know. In 2023, a UK-based father of two, Jamie Scott, was the first person to file a complaint against AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine. He claimed that he was left with a permanent brain injury after developing a blood clot and a bleed on the brain in 2021 after he took the vaccine and therefore has been unable to work. In response to the complaint filed by Scott and a total of 51 others, AstraZeneca admitted for the first time on April 28 that its COVID vaccine developed along with the University of Oxford can cause a rare side effect. The document filed by the pharmaceutical company reportedly stated, It is admitted that the AZ vaccine can in very rare cases cause TTS. The causal mechanism is not known. Further, TTS can also occur in the absence of the AZ vaccine or any vaccine. Causation in any individual case will be a matter for expert evidence. TTS or thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome is a serious condition resulting in low platelet count and formation of blood clots. Symptoms include shortness of breath, chest pain, headaches and easy bruising. In India, in response to AstraZeneca's admission, the father of a woman named Karunya, who died a month after taking the vaccine, has now filed a writ petition seeking compensation and an appointment of an independent medical board to inquire into his daughter's death. Karunya was jabbed with Covishield, the Indian variant of AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine developed and manufactured by the Pune-based Serum Institute of India. As per SII's website, TTS has been categorized as one of the rarest side effects of the Covishield vaccine. It adds that the condition has been observed rarely with a frequency of less than 1 in a lakh vaccinated individuals. According to the Indian Express, the Government Committee on Adverse Events Following Immunization validated at least 36 cases of TTS and confirmed 18 deaths from it in 2021, the first year of vaccinations in the country. As per news reports, Covishield has been administered through 175 crore doses. Therefore, the question is, should those who have taken Covishield panic? So, the Covishield has been uh, very well tested. It has gone through all the scientific uh, uh, analysis and trials and it is a very, very safe vaccine. There is no need to panic. Vaccines are safe and they are very, very important uh, tool to fight infectious disease, particularly when we are going through climate change, infectious diseases are increasing. There is environmental uh, stress on the forest and other uh, wildlife and then therefore See, most of disease from uh, infectious disease come from the wild uh, animals when we contact more and also they have zoonotic origin, 70-80% uh, of them. seen is very, very safe and very effective and it has helped us come out of the, uh, uh, the pandemic uh, uh, with the lesser damage than it would have actually uh, caused. About the side effects like TTS, experts like Dr. Mishra say that it is something that has been known to us before and it isn't new. In 2021, many European countries temporarily suspended the use of AstraZeneca's vaccines over concerns about blood clots seen among those who had been inoculated. In March that year, the European Medicines Agency said 22 cases of blood clots were reported from among the 3 million or 30 lakh vaccinated in the European economic area. At that point, the World Health Organization had stated that countries shouldn't stop using AstraZeneca's vaccine as there was no indication that it causes blood clots. We've reviewed the data on deaths. There has been no death to date, proven to have been caused by vaccination, the WHO said. Dr. Mishra too stressed that every vaccine, like the COVID-19 vaccine, comes with side effects. There's no need to worry or panic. All of us have taken, including me. I, I mean, most of the people took uh, COVID shield. Some took Covaxin because of the availability and the production capacities of those. So there is no reason to worry about it. So what has come out is nothing new. Every drug, if you read very carefully, the print that is packed along with the drug, which is impossible to read, 
has lots of uh, side effects and all, but they are so minimal, so rare that we it's like if you go, if you want to be healthy, you have to jog in. Jogging also has some risk. You may fall, you may twist your leg, all those kinds of things. But that doesn't mean that we should stop jogging. We should be careful. We should be watchful. But by and large, vaccines are the best bet. I will have its side effect. Every drug will have uh, some or more uh, side effect. It's just uh, 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 the benefit that we get we weigh against the reactions or side effects that we have. So for uh, so chances of vaccine leading to any major problem is so rare that it's not uh, uh, considered at all serious for uh, general public use. There are certain, uh, probably there are links that if there is some compromised conditions and when you're more susceptible, then everything uh, becomes more uh, amplified in the body uh, or you feel more because you're weak at that time. So, uh, barring those, vaccines are very safe. Gen what we are talking about, this kind of side effects of blood clotting, typically they happen in few weeks after the vaccination, not after several years uh, of vaccination. As you can see, most of the people are healthy and uh, normal, So, which means vaccine is effective. So, it is just, uh, I think, the, the wrong timing uh, 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 or unnecessary uh, amplification of some process, which is regular code process, which is happening somewhere, which people have got activated. Otherwise, there is nothing new. This is known for the vaccine. This vaccine is very, very safe and very effective. Recent reports have raised concerns about rare side effects associated with the Covishield vaccine. It's essential to remember that vaccines like Covishield have undergone rigorous testing and the benefits they offer far outweigh the risks which are minimal and rare, Dr. Mishra adds. Well, all, all the vaccines are approved only after proper process. Any medicine, uh, when it is given to people, there's a lot of uh, toxicity trial, then it's an efficacy trial, and then large-scale trial is given if there are any side effects and all. And only when they pass all these tests and they're considered to be safe largely,